So what's on today's creature feature? Definitely some ambushing, some bulldozing, and people being pressed. Because they're upset about their judgment. Why are you upset about your judgment? I mean, you made the judgment call on your own life. So now you're upset with the judgment that's being brought to you by God, the law, whoever. <laughs> your family. Because a lot of y'all are being judged by your family members. A lot of y'all have been looking at your family members like, you are the scum of the earth. I do not want you to come to my house any longer. I do not want you to call me any longer. I do not want you to show up for holidays any longer. So a lot of families have broken up because... They cannot believe that their family member is a disgusting troll. And it doesn't matter what color you are, right? It doesn't matter your race. You guys need to step out this race shit because I have, right? I'm out of y'all American race. I am out of talking about race, period. My people are the doves and the loves. I don't, we're, we're not, you're white, you're black, you're Native American. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 fuck that. We're loves and doves, right? We're loves and doves. So you people are still color struck. And it's disgusting, right? It's disgusting to see a pale white woman damn near doodle brown dark. It's disgusting, right? That is total racism at its finest, right? Right, right, right. I heard the racist statement earlier. It must be Native American people in here because I'm hearing how. Native American people don't say how, but it's okay, bitch. Right. <laughs> ah. When you're ignorant, you're ignorant. You can't help it. Ignorant stays bliss. Ignorance stays bliss, right? Ignorant people love to remain ignorant and happy, right? Ignorant, if you notice, people who are totally ignorant don't never know what they're talking about. They're always giggly. Ask yourself why. Because ignorance is bliss, right? God said if you're around somebody who's constantly laughing, they're an ignorant motherfucker. They don't know nothing, right? So back to creature feature. Uh, people who banded together... Trying to be like me and mine's with band of the hand. Realize that, no, you're not a bezel. You're a buzzard, right? You're not a bevel. You're a damn shovel, right? You're just no good to nobody, right? So, you want spiritual decompression. Spiritual decompression is only taking place for those who gave up the bullshit. For those who never wanted to be in the bullshit. For those who are like, what the hell happened to me? I lost a whole year of my life and I don't know where it went. Well, spiritual bullshit got your ass, right? That's big facts, right? That's big facts, and that's more big facts, right? Big facts mean, hell yeah, that's what happened to you. So when you say, when you want to not say, hell yeah, that happened to you, or that definitely was what happened, you can say big facts, right? Big facts, that's what happened, right? Big facts on that, right? So, what else do we have here on the creature feature? So crack coconuts are still whack. There's going to be, we're still in the 20, the number 20 of distress. We're still in distress, right? We are still in distress. Yes, we are totally in distress. There will be no relief because the number 22 means light. So God is shedding light on who he is as God, right? God is not a person. So God is shedding light on who he is as God. That's what 22 means, right? That's why this is the year of God and no one else. God decides what goes on from this moment forth on earth, no one else. God says, do not give a tour of his earth because his earth has changed. He says, even ge 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 uh, geography has changed, right? He has caused so many earthquakes and, um, and um, uh, what's those things called? Volcanoes to erupt that... There's new geography out there. So you cannot give the, a tour of the earth because you don't know his earth. <laughs> Absolutely. And you damn sure ain't Gaia. So you don't know anything about earth. Ooh. Right. So he said, hit the road, Jack. Don't come back no more. Go kick some rocks. And he said, if he, it was him, oh, he'd have unhooked your ass from his skydiving equipment. He'd have let you fall through the sky. Didn't you say you could fly? Right. All right, then. <laughs> Uh, if my, my daughter can fly, right, can you? Nope. Now, self-containment or self-pity. It's a lot of self-pity. I don't know why. <laughs> you, do, you let yourself loose. Now you're feeling sorry for yourself. No one else is going to feel sorry for you people who involved yourself in revolting in America, in revolting in the UK, 
in revolting in any country, right? No one feels sorry for you because you should have, what? Had self-containment. You should have contained yourselves and you did not. You chose to be boys and girls gone wild, right? So, what you really did was boys and girls gone wrong, right? You acted like a bunch of Lord of the Flies, right? And look at your children now. Oh, Lord, they're really Lord of the Flies, right? So, you were supposed to have self-containment, but you didn't. So, now you're full of self-pity. Nah, too bad. Nobody cares. So, this is what's on the creature feature for today. You did this to yourselves. Stop projecting. Stop being angry at another. Stop looking to blame others. Stop looking for another way to blame another. You get up. When you wake up, you make the choice to get up out your bed. Go in the bathroom, pee, shit. And then whatever else after that. You make the choice to get on somebody's nerves all day. You make the choice to sit around your house and do nothing all day. You make the choice to let your kids stay home from school when they should have their ass in school. Right. So, choice is yours. The choice is yours. This is not coffee where it's taster's choice. No. The choice is yours. Right. You can get with this or you can get with that. Right. But you got with the wrong thing. So, this is where we're at. 